Good morning, everyone. I hope you're doing fine. Soon is Christmas. Is it crazy this time? Everything went so fast. I'm taking you today to Tagbilaran, Bohol capital city. Bit of shopping and oh, bit everywhere of in the Philippines, you will see the sign alone. The murals and the painting always on the ceiling. Incredible work. That's pretty unusual. They sell the oil in a plastic or plastic, whatever you call it, bag, a plastic bag. And I packed my my scooter in here. That's why I got book. You learn, listen, you learn, you listen. Okay, so. So I live in uh, Tanglao near uh, Alona Beach. And it's a busy area in Alona Beach, like uh, most of people will know. But where I live is pretty quiet, you know. This is the little path I take every day to go to uh, the, the main part of Alona, which is only about two minutes on the scooter, two, three minutes. Oh, we will see the time here. And um, just go through those fields. Normally you've got cows, you've got sheep and sheep running around, goats, oh, and dogs, hello dog. Um, very quiet. I'm so close to the main busy area of the town of Alona, but uh, very nice and peaceful country, basically a little street at the back. I found that by chance I was staying in an accommodation just not far from there for a week when I arrived in Panglao. And I just wander around a bit those dirt track and go and see what's at the end because you know in Philippines it's crazy. You've got five star hotels uh, at the end of a tiny little bumpy dirt track and uh, you wonder why look at this big building here and a nice four star resort and you still have to ride into those little uh, bumpy dirt truck to get to it. I can imagine when the first time you come to the Philippines and you don't know about it and you reserve your accommodation online, you see a nice big five-star, nice hotel, swimming pool, you book that and when you arrive, you they come and pick you up on a little tricycle and take you down those little <laughs> Uh, one-way street with holes and mud and bumpy you probably think oh my god what did I book myself into it but no uh, nice after resort at the end I don't know why they don't fix the roads when they plan the big resort but anyway I guess uh, nobody want to pay for it they're waiting for the government to pay for those roads um, but you make Life and tracing, and this is the Philippines here. Also, they're building another unit blocks. I walk past every day, I can see uh, the progress. Uh, they work late at night sometimes, I guess, with the weather. It's so hot in here uh, during the day, they must have taken a break and um, they work a little bit later at night because it's cooler. I uh, can see at the end of that road there, that's it. I'm going to be basically on the main road of um, Alona, Alona Beach area of Panglao. So I'm in Alona, which is very popular, touristic, lots of uh, nice restaurants, the beach um, is pretty nice. But I didn't want to stay right in and um, where it's crowded and noisy. And so I find that little jam of place there, not too expensive and I was able to rent for three months. It's always easy if you stay longer you get better deal but I don't need three months so that's what I think. Here we are, that's the main road. Oh, give me a sec, I'm just looking at uh, cars, scooters, okay it's not too busy because it's only 9.30 in the morning. Okay I'm going to push it in now, let's do it. Okay, so that's the main street. So wait, when you arrive and you say you booked into Alona, uh, your focus area point is the McDonald's and the Jollibee. This is really the, the heart of Alona Beach. 
uh, from there on the right hand side here there is a couple of trucks and uh, there is a road there on the right who will take you to the beach area and that's where all the restaurants and resorts are right on the beach now uh, if you come here in the afternoon after lunch time already there will be thousands of people walking all around the side of the road in here everywhere all the cafes will be busy still early they're still in bed uh, the weather is looking good, so I decided to go to Takbaliran. Takbaliran, capital of Bohol, 110,000 people roughly, and about uh, 30 minutes ride from my place. Be easy, uh, go and explore. Uh, right on the left hand side, that's the airport, International Airport uh, in Panglao. Got direct flight from quite a few Asian countries, of course, domestic flight too. Uh, very popular with Korean. There is a big, big uh, uh, tourism Korean in Philippines. I think they're the number one tourist. Tourist, I think. Well, I'm pretty sure it is because I've seen mainly Korean everywhere. Korean, Chinese, Japanese, uh, American. I think Australia is probably number six on the list of uh, number of people coming. Now when we go to Takbaliran, there is basically three roads in uh, Panglao. You've got a East Coast Road, you've got a road across to the middle of the island, and a road across on the left of the island. Uh, so we're going to go and just from um, now from the East Coast, we're going to cross and try to go on the West Coast. So this is uh, middle road now across the already to the middle side of the island it's not a very big island uh, probably an hour you will go all around that island nice and not very wide not too sure exactly of um, the length and width but um, trust me it's not that far nice way to cross uh, from one uh, one side to the other nice little uh, Road, nice country, not too busy, not crowded, just have to watch for the roads, the potholes, the bit, the concrete, uh, sometimes a bit on the right, sometimes a bit on the left, yes, uh, just pick the right spot and keep an eye for dogs and holes in the road. Okay, we're just arriving uh, to the west side of Panglao, basically already. Just make it easy, I could go the other way, but at least on this side I'm already... Uh, closest to the bridge uh, the island is pretty skinny i'm not sure you probably can't see it here on the on my phone on the gps but um, that's the way i'm taking it nice easy ride 30 minutes a bit less a bit overcast suddenly a big black cloud there so i hope it's not going to rain on me uh, rainy season of course can still happen in philippines shower most of the time, look at those tricycles, <laughs> they're pretty classic. This is the best way to come in here, jump on one of those. Pretty cheap. Well, actually, in Panglao, I find it very expensive. I traveled seven months in Mindanao, and I find it Mindanao much cheaper than uh, Bohol, especially in Panglao. There is, it's a bit expensive, lots of tourists, so they know they can make a dollar here. That's road, keep going. Oh, they, that's the bridge. Uh, they're building a new road and they're going to build a third bridge. There is uh, two bridge now to come to the island of Panglao from uh, Bohol. One right on the east side and one we're going to take on the west side. And they're starting to build a new one, but it's not finished. Uh, only the main road there and a tiny little bit of the bridge. I went to have a look the other day and uh, yeah, it's a long way to be finished. Not too much traffic yet, but uh, okay, now I'm going to have to turn left with a sec. Okay, now we're going to, we're getting to the end of Penglao, of the island, and that's the connector to Bohol, to the main island, is the left bridge. One of the bridge to cross. Nice market here in the morning uh, near the port there, near the bridge, a fish market. Uh, the other bridge is right there on your right hand side. And 
the one they building will be right on the left hand side somewhere but not finished and if you come early in the morning there the the fishermen they bring the fish right next to the bridge there is a nice fish market the weather cleared up a bit it's a bit more sunny there was few drops on my way when i was driving up but uh, it's looking okay now <laughs> prefer but uh, it's not too hot too it's been very hot and humid lately so it's nice uh, actually a bit of cool and a bit of rain cool the place down a bit but we're going to get to the city pretty soon uh, the main part of uh, Takbaliran that's where I go and do my shopping and the traffic is going to start to pick up from there on I say yeah lots of little sari sari shop here on the side of the road and busy busy morning clearing up left and left uh, right turn going up the ramp and we get into the the main part of the Dark Barry Run. Um, there be a big park on the left hand side. They always have a, a centerpiece in every little town. Uh, a park with um, for people to come and enjoy. This is the park on your left hand side. We're going to go for a little walk after that around there. Let me see those people. Let me go. Okay, mate. La Matpo. I have to push a bit there through the traffic, uh, the chaotic, organized chaos traffic, I call it in here. No, I've been used to it a bit, so <laughs> I'm dropped like a Filipino, some people tell me. <laughs> uh, just need to be a bit careful, but yeah, it's pretty easy. They, they're actually good. You think they push, they push, but everybody respect, they, they know, and if you're a little bit in, they let you in. If you wait, they won't let you in, so you need to push it. I'm going to look for a parking area. Look, at the, it's a bit more traffic now. Because, oh, I will tell you a story. Last time I came there, I parked in a bloody wrong spot, and it cost me 400 pesos. So um, I don't want to do that. Uh, that's a parking area. Now that one is full here on the left. Um, the shopping center is there is a shopping on the right so let me change line oh it looks like something here let me ask the queer here if I can park looks all right oh 50 pesos that's okay that's a good spot uh, oh under the shed is even better perfect and that's great spot for my scooter big red is going to wait for me there and we're going to go have a look at the town and go to the supermarket. Let's do it, guys. All right, the park is parked nice and safe. Let's go and have a look at the park and then uh, we'll go shopping in Tanquila Run. Um, let's find a way to cross that road. <laughs> Big city, uh, which I try to avoid most of the time. like to drive in the city in any way I try to cross in the middle here pushing around I'm at and we're getting cl close to Christmas so everywhere is pretty busy lots of people around everywhere in the Philippines you will see the sign alone Filipino love the countries a nice little park in the center of the city There is stores there, there's people getting massages, you got food. But kids play with the pigeon. Try to catch one. Church. Um, 
lots of torches in Philippines. Beautiful old buildings. Architecture, always from the Spanish era. It looks like they kept the old, uh, the old tower side um, original. Amazing. That's very, very nice. All those wooden panels. Amazing, beautiful. Wow, this is impressive. This is beautiful. Amazing church. The murals and the painting always on the ceiling. Incredible work. Amazing, beautiful. Uh, shopping time. Let's try not to get too distracted. Up. Okay, I made it to the mall. It's nice and cool in here. So, first shopping supermarket. Get some grocery before uh, I get distracted. Big beans, good for breakfast. Big beans. Some of those. Maybe three. Maybe four. That's pretty unusual. They sell the oil in a, in a plastic. Uh, <coughs> Plastic, whatever you call it, bag, in a plastic bag, not in plastic bottle, plastic bag. Same with this one, plastic bag of coconut oil. That looks delicious, let's try that too. Dragon fruit herbal coffee mix. I love dragon fruit. Something I haven't tried. Get a few of those, try that. It's pretty unusual. Alright, shopping is done. Going to uh, head back slowly now. Um, find uh, all I need. Won't stay too long in a city. Don't like too much big city. Um, I'd just take a little walk to show you just around here. I've got my two bags. And on my back. Oh, that's actually the place I was parked last time and I got fined <laughs> my 400 pesos. Which I will show you, which makes sense. I was parked on the side of the, uh, the gutter here. Which is not not supposed to park there. Yeah. 
that's the area I saw the parking was here. And I parked my, my scooter in here. So that's what I got book. You learn, listen, you learn, you listen. Okay, so maybe we go this way a bit. I think I'm parked. My scooter is on the other side here. Just take a little walk. A bit heavy with all my stuff. Might look for a little snack, something to eat a bit. something on the way uh, in a small car on the area on the way back more fun in Philippines <laughs> All right, let's get out of the city. A little bit too busy for me. <laughs> Prefer the quiet province life. Now uh, that was good. Done my shopping. Um, it's getting a bit late now. Lunch time. A little bit more busy. More traffic. We're just going to head back slowly to Panglao. Um, probably go to find some lunch uh, at the market in Panglao. Uh, show you the public market which is not a very big place, but uh, I get some nice uh, food over there usually. Camote, which I like. Oh, lots of, in school hours, traffic, a uh, lot of big school, they lunch them, they close in here for one hour. I think I lunch them, the kids, they go home, they have lunch and then they come back. Uh, all right, we're just arriving at the public market. Um, in Pangla, oh no, my shop is closed. Normally, is there a little lady who sell me some beautiful camote barbecue? No, all right, we we'll go and have a look what we can see at the market. It's not a very big market in, in Pangla. Mainly veg and uh, fish, meat, and all the market stuff you see everywhere. Uh, same thing, you find a little bit everywhere. I'm going to have a quick look, show you a bit around. I'm going to park the scooter in here and let's go and have a look what we see in the market. The Panglao Public Market. It's not a very big market in here. Not a big town. The classic uh, 
uh, market stuff, stuff, t-shirt and um, all the stuff of thing you can see in most of the market. Yeah. A bit the same, a bit everywhere, it's not very big compared to some other market I've been. Mm. Nice fix. Nice. I will get one. Rice, yes. Uh, no, this one. Sticky rice. Sticky rice, yes. I will get one piece. One piece, one slice. Battery just ran out on the, the other GoPro. So it was rice cake. Sticky, sticky rice cake, very nice. Mm -hmm. Just go and get some calamansi. Calamansi, ma'am? Just uh, only few. Hello! Getting calamansi from the market. Yeah, mom. Lenny? Yeah. Yeah. Five. 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 So that's where I get my veggies and fruit in the public market sometimes the food when they open on the other side mm -hmm. I was looking for let me go and have a look again in case uh, something is open some lumpia Barber shop on the other side. They will have some room here. Yeah. I'll try another shop. That's very nice. Chicken. I just felt like some lumpia and some camote. Can't see any.
your typical market style of stores. A lot of stuff you don't need. But no way out. That looks really good. Got nice fish, fresh fish, of course. All right, that's a, that's a big red. Had a good trip today. All right, let's go back home. Change of plans. Afternoon. Morning! We're going to get the classic schnitzel, schnitzel chicken with chips. Okay. Okay? For here, right? Yes. Okay. Thank and you. I get a drink. How about calamansi juice? Yes, you remember. Calamansi <laughs> juice and schnitzel. That's my meal. Thank you, mom. <laughs> That's what I get all the time. Yes, from time to time, you know, you just want to eat something a bit different than Filipino food. I'm sure most of foreigners <laughs> will agree on that, 99% uh, to 98% Filipino, but from time to time, pasta, carbonara, schnitzels, something different. Okay, I'm going to order it and then um, just eat. The old classic uh, chicken schnitzel with chips <laughs> for a difference. Just drove past and uh, I remember I've been here before, so that's what I feel now after my uh, rice cake from the market. Just gave me a bit more appetite. All right, I'm going to enjoy that. And that was our little trip from uh, Panglao Alola Beach to Bilaran City and so stay safe and i will see you in my next vlog peace